Here we're facing a problem in which there are two uh, potentially hostile submarines. The one to the east is thought to be dangerous, while that further to the west is thought to, to not actually be uh, inimical to our forces. So we're going to launch a uh, Foxtrot helicopter from our carrier and send it toward the datum in the east. We turn the carrier to the north, away from the threat, and see that the destroyer escort is slaved to the carrier. We launch a Bravo helicopter from the cruiser and send it toward the datum in the west. Selecting any unit brings up a line that shows how far it is from the mission essential unit. The cruiser and destroyer turn on their active sonars with the intention of hurting away the submarine. The Foxtrot drops a uh, sonoboy and, in short order, detects the submarine. We put the helo on an elliptical track so that it'll stay in the vicinity of the sub. We employ the dipping sonar of the Foxtrot helicopter, which has arrived near the datum in the east. We draw a one-way track for the uh, destroyer. We need to hit the last point twice in order to finish the track. We draw a similar track for the cruiser. The Foxtrot in the east has lost track of the submarine that it was following, so uh, we're going to move it east and then turn on its dipping sonar again. And there's the submarine. Then we'll draw a track that lets the carrier hug the coastline. Since we know where the sub is, the TDA associated with the eastern datum is too large. We'll remove it and install a new one at the sub's location. We don't want the Foxtrot helicopter to get out of range of the submarine, so we'll put in on an elliptical track too. Let's go to warp speed and finish this up. The sub in the west hasn't cooperated in being herded to the south. More importantly, we've kept our mission essential unit away from the dangerous sub in the east.